What's going on everybody? This is Taylor Casmatica here back with another Destiny video. Uh, today I actually have something different. I'm actually going to try and do like a sniping guide or tips and tricks video along with other like just uh, clips like I usually do highlights. But um, anyway, like you guys know, I participated in my first tournament uh, last weekend. We got killed, but I just want to say thank you to my teammates in that. Infection and Geo, we're going to continue to get better. Hopefully we'll fare a lot better in our next tournament. But with that, I'm just going to some of these clips I'm just going to comment on, uh, give you tips and tricks on like how I got better and what maybe I would have done different a while ago and how I would have improved and how maybe you can improve too. So after that, I'll just leave it with you. Peace. All right. So on this first clip here, it's on trials on Memento and this team had done a really good job of holding down that left building. So I need, I need to come in there, use those uh, bricks or whatever, those boxes for some cover. Um, that's a big point. Always use your cover, your boxes, your bricks, your uh, your buildings. Um, pop in and out of them after after every shot or so. Never never take upwards of three or four shots standing still or out in the open anywhere. You need to be moving. You need to be. You just need to be in motion. Destiny is a lot about angles. See see here. I'm approaching these angles differently. I'm moving from the left to the right. They don't know if I'm gonna pop back out shallow or long or left or right just try and keep them guessing um, also never be afraid to go into some PVE uh, they're moving targets they have heads they're moving they're not as smart as the real people you might be playing in PvP but if you are getting your ass whooped in some PvP and you just feel like relaxing take your sniper go go to Oryx go to Crota go to the Vault of Glass and just try and quick scope people. That's how I did. I mean, I played a lot of PVE just trying to get better, quick scoping and whatnot. That's a really big tip that I have is just go to PVE. Here in this clip, I don't use a sniper, but it's a really good example of how to like move with cover, move with your buildings, move along your buildings using this cover. If I would have popped up to the left up there on the little catwalk thing, they probably could have sniped me. So I just move along the right, real slim, shady-like, and get the triple kill. This clip is a really good example of a pre-fire. He misses his first shot, so do I, but he gets me, gets me no shield. And I knew he was going to come back out there and try and kill me, so I just pre-fired, got the headshot. Right here, there's a guy I know is going to be moving towards me, try and get the jump on me. And I just set my sights and get the quick scope. There, I toss the nade, knowing it would distract him. So I get the double, nice double kill right there. This uh, clip coming up, um, it's going to be slowed down because it would be really quiet, really quick, quack, really quick otherwise. I've seen Sir Demetrius and people use this spot, and it was really lucky. I hop up here, see the person jumping, get that nice little quick scope. And that's another example of using your buildings and your angles wisely. You're in the lead. All right, so this next clip is a really good example of using cover, like I said earlier, and my opponent's and your opponent's disorientation to get the kill. So you pop in, pop back out. They don't—they didn't even know where I was. I shot once, popped in, shot out, and got the nice little triple there. That's all because I popped in and popped out so quick using my cover. Here, um, I use my red or my sniper to get the nice little quick scope. See, I placed my reticle where I knew his head was going to be after he self-rezzed, and it was time to shoot. Okay, so on this clip, this is almost something that you don't want to do. So I pop out here. I miss a shot, I miss my second shot, I see that there's two there, so I pop back here behind this church, I slowly creep back out, because I don't know how many more there are now, now I know there's one, and he luckily jumps up right in front of my, my scope for the nice triple kill. Again, here's another clip of just knowing how, and when, and why it's important to set 
your scope even when you're not ADSing in your sights where you think their head level is going to be. So after picking up the three kills here, I pull out my sniper, aim down, aim down the map, get a nice little kill on my clan mate, and then guy pops out. I get a nice little quick scope, all because he was at head level. He didn't jump around the corner or anything. That's what you'll see a lot, a lot of good uh, players do is jumping around corners, so you won't have their heads at level when you, when they come around the corners. All right, and here's a clip of what not to do. My buddy here is just sitting. He's ADSing. He doesn't even know I'm there until I melee him. Get a nice little quick scope. Um, another one of my buddies who I play with all the times in this rumble match. He's about to get wrecked up here. Uh, luckily, uh, he should have killed me, but he didn't. So there he is. I miss all my last word shots. Miss my firebolt. He pops up here. Miss another firebolt. I try and see where he is through guarding, and boom. That's the luckiest luckiest in air tag I've ever had for the kill. All these next three clips are quick scopes, but they happened because I knew where I needed to uh, have my sights set where I could hopefully make the shot possible. First one there on shores, this one here on the cauldron, this next one here is with the no land beyond after a failed nova bomb. Just a little quick scope. Legend is being forged in fire. Double down. Ten seconds. Fight to the end. Guardian down. You're in overtime. Capture the zone to end this quick. Double down. Guardian down. What's going on everybody, it's your boy Kazma here at the end of your first sniping video. Um, I've never done, never thought I would do a sniping video before because I'm not the best. I'm definitely not the best. But um, I just want to say thank you. I know this channel is not very big. Uh, I just want to say thank you to my We Run Hogwarts boys. Uh, I want to say thank you to Infection and Geo for having me on their team last weekend in the tournament. We got beat, we got annihilated, but we're going to get better. We know what we need to do now. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I would highly suggest going to watch other people who are better than you stream their YouTube videos. You'll pick up on their mannerisms. You'll pick up on their play, how they do, what they do, just to get better. But, um, and with that, I'm just going to leave it, and I'll just see you in my next video. Peace out.